So this is a reading, an energy reading um, that does not have a time frame. This is not for this week or for this month, even though most of you, if, if you're watching this live, it will apply in the current situation. If you watch this later, most likely this applies to you in that time frame that you are um, watching this in. So the current energy is there are a lot of you that are stepping into their goddess initiation. And most likely, most likely that that initiation began has begun uh, a long time ago. It's not until we realize and fully come to that embodiment of our integrated experience and traumas and when we're ready to release them is when that spiritual awakening happens. It doesn't always happen right at the time when we're going through our awakening. The realization comes after. If you started your initiation by going through trauma, um, certain painful experiences, maybe psychic attacks, a lot of you has been attacked, the Divine Feminine had been attacked spiritually, sexually, psychologically. That's why we have the Pyramid of Light there. It's, it's all about protecting your soul, the key of life, the key of life is your sacred womb if you've been sexually abused molested raped just allow that energy to transmute into wisdom when light initiates you it's not always in that conventional spiritual way that we're we're hearing it about the light cannot enter until the darkness can penetrate your soul to release that to clear the space so in order to tap into the light we have to go through our shadows we have to go through the shadow works we have to tap into the subconscious fears the programs and release them we have to look at some stuff that is ugly so the initiation is not really a ritualistic initiation with rituals and flowers and and uh, beautiful things, the initiation starts with the darkness of your soul, right? You go through the dark night of your soul, the tower moment. When everything collapses, everything breaks down, that seems like a bad luck, but your old beliefs are being challenged. So if you're going through this time where you realize that everything that you've been through up to this point, this is a sign that you are you have been initiated. And the next step is to integrate the light within your body. So as you release everything that you found in the dark, everything that you tap into in the darkness, this is where the light comes in. And the conventional way in the religion and everywhere else, they will tell you that light is all about staying positive and staying in the light. And staying on the positive side of things, that's unfortunately not how life is. And that's not where power is. The power doesn't come from staying positive. The power comes from staying empowered. And the way that you get that power is by tapping into your darkness. Not ignoring it, not condemning it, saying that it, it's evil. Your bad thoughts are bad and you shouldn't be thinking them. We we'll all go through pain. And when we go through that pain, when we go through trauma, when we go through that initiation, that dark night of the soul, we quickly want to get on the positive side of things and forget it and push it back into the depth of our subconscious and just not deal with this. So when you actually say yes, when you actually face whatever it is that you need to face, when you allow yourself to experience all of those dark emotions and, and guilt and shame and fear and accept it for what it is. Accept it. You are able to release it. But if you push it down, if you reject it, it's just like rejecting a child or rejecting someone. When you reject someone, 
they're going to try to get your attention even even stronger so you don't want to reject those feelings you have to tap into your darkness well have the dark side and that dark side that pain that you're experiencing that rage that you're experiencing and all of that you can transmute and alchemize into your own magic and that is the key to power and that is the key to life so if you keep ignoring the shadows you can never step into the light so if you're watching this and you've been through a turmoil and you've been through a lot in life and you're wondering why is this happening to me if you went through all of the stages of grief the anger the denial i love that on the psychological level if you come into an acceptance part now you realize that you've been initiated now you're just embodying and anchoring the light and as you do so everything around you changes the abundance the energy as you learn how to protect your soul protect your spirit from dark forces by accepting them not ignoring them by accepting them as what they are you rise into your divinity you create new life new opportunities for you have been initiated by the sun right by the light force by going through your dark moments and, and towers and you become a queen of heaven everything is here for you everything is here for you you are creator of your destiny So this initiation is not just ritualistic. It is deeply within your soul. It's coded within your birth divinity, your birthright. So if you're ready to take that next step, I encourage you to really look into your magic. If you're drawn to this energy, come work with me. Get activated, get embodied. Embody the goddess energy. You can alchemize and transform your pain into your power. For the goddess empowerment, goddess enchantment, goddess enrichment, whatever it is that you need to take that next step to become the queen of heaven. If you still cannot manage your body, if you want to step fully into your body, there's so much more to you then you can see and that's in the darkness as well that's in that subconscious mind there's power that is within you there's greater power that is within you that wants to come out and shine but it's not going to happen until you face that dark side of you embrace it transmute it alchemize it into light that pain into wisdom those traumas into power into boundaries whenever you've been abused you learn how to set boundaries otherwise you're just going to keep repeating the cycle if you're still struggling in any area of your life financially spiritually physically if you're having health issues you want to come to the goddess embodiment you want to create the body of your dreams the goddess body that you can anchor that energy in that light of Ra the Sun Isis, the goddess. And if you're ready to step into your magic, you want to go through the goddess enchantment where you learn how to navigate in the spiritual realms, how to protect yourself and create the life of your dreams. If you're struggling with finances, I encourage you to tap into the goddess enrichment and all of these programs are available on our website you can come work with the goddess energy or you can do it on your own it's up to you but knowing that this light is always within you and it shines on different spots of your soul on all the dark places in all the dark places you can embody the light 
And if you want to complete your initiation right now, I encourage you to imagine or visualize the sun, Ra, and the power of the sun shrinking down to the size of your fist. And as it does so, the power of the sun is still there. Yet, it just shrinks. And then you can place it in your solar plexus chakra, helping you come into your confident self, your power, your willpower. And as you empower yourself, as you get initiated, just allow yourself to truly be who you truly are. And allow that light to fill any spots where the soul escaped your body. That's called soul retrieval work. And just bring back your energy from all places, spaces, people, and time. Just call back the parts of your soul and allow that sun energy to just expand all the way out, creating this aura of protection around you. Almost like a pyramid of light. The Merkaba. That just activates all of your chakras, protects your life force, and helps you to step into your goddess divinity. I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you have any more questions, if you're activated by this energy read, this initiation, I encourage you to drink lots of water, go out in the sun, just ground yourself, and contact me if you have any questions at all, or if you need further assistance, if you want to take it further and truly step into your goddess energy, I encourage you to come work with me. Akasha said Ra. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Ashe. Ashe, 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 Ashe.